It is my honor and privilege to introduce Tom Drake. He has the dubious distinction of being the fourth case in U.S. history brought under the Espionage Act for allegedly mishandling classified information. The first was Dan Ellsberg, the Pentagon Papers whistleblower. Tom Drake spent his entire career serving the United States. First, nine years in the Air Force, then a stint at the CIA, five years as a Naval Reserve officer, and 12 years as a contractor, often at the National Security Agency, and then almost seven years as a senior executive at NSA. He was brought on to help NSA meet the demands of the 21st century. What is his supposed crime? Well, as portrayed in the indictment and far too many news articles, he leaked classified information to a reporter. But in reality, he never leaked classified information to a newspaper, and he is not charged with leaking classified information, period. His real crime is that he complained about multi-billion dollar waste and illegality at the NSA. He reported this to his bosses, to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, and the Department of Defense Inspector General, which vindicated his concerns. Tom Drake threw, went through all the proper channels, but it made no difference. He is still facing 35 years in jail. Mr. Drake's prosecutor says that leaking, leaking is more pernicious than the typical espionage case where a spy sells classified information to our enemies. The idea that whistleblowing is worse than spying is both laughable and alarming as it represents the level of sheer vindictiveness the government harbors against those who expose its corruption. This administration has brought more leak prosecutions than all previous presidential administrations combined. When first elected, President Obama acknowledged that often the best source of information about government wrongdoing is an employee committed to public integrity and willing to speak out. He called such acts courageous and patriotic. So it is especially hypocritical to be prosecuting public servants under the Espionage Act. Painting whistleblowers as spies serves another ugly purpose, alienating these brave employees from their natural allies in the legal, civil rights, and civil liberties community. It is rank hypocrisy for our government, preaching openness and transparency, to criminalize whistleblowing that exposes government illegal conduct. This administration, whose mantra is to look forward, not backwards, gives war crimes, torture, and warrantless wiretapping a pass, but is going after whistleblowers who exposed precisely that misconduct. The prosecution of Tom Drake is the most severe form of whistleblowing retaliation that I have ever seen, and it sends a very chilling message. It is tragic when serving your country gets you prosecuted under the Espionage Act, and telling the truth gets you charged with making false statements. Whistleblowers should not have to choose their conscience over their career, much less their very liberty. Thank you, Tom, for putting principle over passivity for not confusing dissent with disloyalty, and for not placing fear above freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce Tom Drake.